Hello everyone, this is Nancy. Today I'm here to show you varieties of nature's raw food that you can choose. People have been calling to ask me what type of vegetables should they choose. So here I have sourced locally a few because there are very many. So long as they are edible, then you can juice them. So I have here with me locally sourced vegetables. Some are spice, some are for seasoning, some you can see like pepper, but I'm going to run through with you their names. And then uh, to also let you know, you can add them to your juicing. So you have variety in taste, and then you have variety in what you are supplying to yourself. So it's to be boring. When we talk about juice, people think it's boring, especially green juices. But here are a few that you can find all around you in the local markets. And you can add them to your juices. So I'll start on my left. This is lettuce, locally sauce. This is called water cress. This is meat, local meat. This is coriander. Some of you don't know coriander, but this is coriander. This is called dill. You can use this on your salad. This is basil. This is basil. Some people locally, the local name I know it to be is orange. leaf. This is thyme, fresh thyme. And this is uh, parsley. I'm sure you know parsley. This is fresh rosemary. You know, we use it for cooking meats and then uh, a seasoning. And then we have spring beans. You can also use this, fresh as it is. This is bok choy. You know, the Chinese use it on their uh, stir fry, but I juice it and put it in my juice. And this is spinach. I'm sure you know about spinach. There are different uh, species of uh, spinach. This is local kale. You know, the foreign one is all white, but this is local kale. I'm sure you know beetroot. This is beetroot. We have pepper as well, I just pepper. Red, yellow, you can add green pepper to it. This is apple, I'm sure you know apple. This is local lemon. This is locally grown corn flour. We are familiar with carrots. Now, this is called bitter gold. Bitter gold. This one is very good for diabetic patients. It's very, very good for diabetic patients. It's quite bitter. And this is radish, white radish. The Indians use it a lot. I use it as well. This is white radish. This is red radish. And this one you know. This is a cucumber. We have here cabbage. And then a locally grown broccoli. They are all locally grown, but they sound foreign. They are available. If you go around our local markets, you will find them. And so, it's just to let you know that there's variety in juicing. I've been juicing since 2018. That's about five years now. And uh, I'm not bored. I mean, when you have all this variety, uh, you add them occasionally in your juicing. You will not be bored of the taste. So just to let you know that so long as it is edible, you can actually add them in your juice. The thing I have to tell you here is that the quantity is so important. You don't need too much of everything. I mean, when you are cooking with thyme or seasoning with thyme and rosemary, you know you add a little into your, uh, your, your, your cooking. The same way when you want to use thyme and rosemary, you just add a little, a little into your juice, just to give it flavor. So I'll later take you out to show you other local vegetables growing by compound. This is miracle leaf, very powerful leaf. It's good for hypertension. You don't need more than three leaves. It's a leaf. Also just first put it too far. Must be too far. Okay. This is dandelion. It's just uh, growing dandelion. Got an egg leaf. You can see one is already coming out of the seed. This is ugu. 
Yeah, one thing I need to let you know that do not be afraid to try out these things. Play around with them, you know? The important thing is that at least you should have three leafy grains like kale, spinach, mixed together with maybe parsley for one set and you add any spice or flavor to it, flavors using like a lemon or apple or you can also uh, juice, lettuce, cucumber, broccoli and then you add the beetroot. There's no specific recipe. We always try to have our own style in our cooking. So likewise with juicing. So when you are juicing, don't be afraid to try out something. So long as it's edible and the quantity is not more than a half. And then to augment in volume, you can use things like celery or things like cucumber, things like apple to give you a volume. But the leaves, just the quantity about the hand, it's a hand full, you know, of each of the three that we see. Nature is full of variety and colorful. So these are all colors that we have here. We also have purple cabbage which I didn't bring here. Purple cabbage also add color. There are many, many. You yourself, I'm sure this is just a few. Yes, it's going to be an exciting journey going forward. And then uh, you can always check my previous videos. You will learn a lot. You will learn a lot. Yeah, it may look as if I'm repeating something, but reminding you of certain things. So I would advise you, always go back to my previous a video and then put these things together and you'll be able to get something for yourself your own way your own style your own taste